Hello everyone, welcome back. Oh, <coughs> welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. Now it has been some time since I played and I want to say that I I feel like the game is losing its luster slightly. So I'm probably going to cut back on the amount of content I do for this. Mostly because there are other games that I'm making content for that I'm enjoying more because they're new. Uh, and they are bounded so I know when they're going to end. Uh, meanwhile, Darkest Dungeon just sort of goes on and on. It sort of it ticks over, you know, and it's kind of easy to play an episode. And if I get salty, I get salty, and that's entertaining. And if I don't, I don't. And then we probably succeed, and that's also entertaining. But at the same time, it's dragging its heels in terms of the progress of the game itself. So I think uh, I like to play the game, but at the same time. The game doesn't seem to want to be played as much as I'd like it to, unless we start dismissing people, which I am still down with, um, except no one's actually got themselves into a position where I want them to be dismissed. Uh, on this week, we have Idle Arbalist gaining one resolve level if we don't take him, which is what Idle means. So it's only Dutch, really, that is going to get anywhere. But Dutch from 4 to 5 doesn't seem like a terrible idea, but we'll notice many of our level 5 units are terribly stressed out, including a couple of them that are afflicted. Uh, and I'm not going to be able to do anything about it. We do have 23,000 gold. But I was looking at the... Uh, by the way, I can't remember what I did last time. I, uh, there's no way I'm going to refer to the previous episode because it's been a couple of weeks. Obviously, I went on holiday and I came back. That was the week when nothing went up because Ed sucks. Um, also, speaking of Ed... Uh, let's, let's click around these for a while before I talk about Ed. Because um, we're going to need to fill in some quiet time at some point. We can't do this level 1 mission because we don't actually have enough units at that level. And I don't want to do anything that involves gathering stuff, because that means that we lose the inventory space that we need to bring back decent stuff. Uh, kind of depending on these, honestly, and I'm not sure I care about this leper's mask. Let's... maybe. Plague Doctor... Oh, they've coloured in some of these things, which is quite nice. Rain skills, stun, blight, more stress. I mean, there's a lot more stress going on. Now... I do recall that one of the major problems with our roster at the moment is we have a lot of people who we can't afford to upgrade. Um, but I've got a little bit of the gambler's fallacy going on in that we've invested a lot in them. Especially these higher level ones. Which is the ones that are at fault. We've put so much money into them that I don't want to dismiss them. But look, these are level 3. These are level 4. It's a level 5 unit. Uh, and it's getting more and more expensive to upgrade those ones, whereas we've got people down here that we don't really use, but we can afford to upgrade them. Like, I'm never going to upgrade this particular one because we're going to get rid of them. Um, eventually. I could just replace people and rename the new unit. I'm not sure I'm happy with that either, so I'm basically waiting for somebody to die. Um, so I'm thinking what we do is we use one that... We take a, a mission, sorry, that we take stuff in. Well, I don't know if we need this Hellion's... This Hell's hairpin, though. We could try this, but I'm not going to go into any champion mission with these units at the state they are. Which means I'm possibly just thinking maybe we do a medium mission. Which means we can take some of the... Like, the level 4 people aren't really equipped beyond their level. We can get them up to level 3 and still have them appropriate for this mission. So I think that's what we'll do. Now, I don't necessarily want to take Dutch, but at the same time, if Dutch levels up... We're going to have to get them to have even more, you know, equipment, even better equipment, without actually taking them out and using them in any way. Although, I'm not entirely sure it's worth taking Dutch, because I'm thinking if we do sort of the back back position hunts, Houndmaster type deal, we should do pretty well in the ruins, especially with uh, a healer with the quality of Holmesy, who we've actually leveled up to her own level right now. And then we can't take Holmesy and Viss, which is a shame. But maybe we can try a second rank. Hmm. This doesn't really work. Maybe we could take Penelope Puddles? Or just Sejirus. But Sejirus won't go because it's too. He's a level 3, so Sejirus will go. It's a terrible idea, but, you know, they might die. But it's only a level 3 mission, so we can't be too upset necessarily with the prospect of going for it, because do I want to do a medium mission with that? Do we have a choice? We could take Dutch. That's really the only other choice. And, you know, the Houndmaster doesn't really work at the front with, without buying new things. 
which I'm not really prepared to do because I want to make sure that the <laughs> people that we actually already are taking have, you know, are at the level we want them to be. So, Homesy is actually fine. We'll upgrade these. Sometimes we do this. Often we don't. So I'm not going to take those. What else have we got here? Target whistle. Mark, less prot. That's pretty good. It could be pretty good. Possibly useful, but, I mean, it would rely on us having better protection on our own. Now, we could take this one and put, like, have a, a level 2, a, a rank 2 Houndmaster going on, but maybe Houndmaster and... I mean, that's a marking party right there, but I don't know if we need it, because I, I like this one. But that could be used from the second rank as well. In fact, there's no reason not to put you in the second rank, which means we could take Dutch. Which means Dutch won't level up, but I'm not actually too upset about that. I, I feel like this um, this event here is not actually that great. And if our only Arbalist isn't there, then the Archer Tournament is basically not going ahead. Uh, let's have a look at the Blacksmith. Don't need to upgrade Holmesy, right? You definitely need upgrade, upgrading. I'm going to spend a lot of money here. It may be too much. Dutch, how are you? Uh, 1, 14, and then... Sorry, 24, and then the next one was 24 itself, which is 48 plus 24, which is, don't do maths on camera, 50, 62? A lot. 52, 62, it's, it's many. 72. 24 plus 48. Yeah, it's 72. So, that's all of it. <laughs> that's almost all of it. Whereas Sejairus is only going to go this far, and we're done. Right, so we've got a little bit left to give to Sajaris here. This has been pretty good for us. Fake. Yes. I think we do this. This reduces prot in the same way that the Houndmaster one did, but we've already got a rank in it. It's not quite as good, but there's no point in having two units that can mark. I think we've upgraded these units actually significantly for this mission, which is going to be great. We could switch the position of these two around, but honestly, they... Yeah, we should. The reason for that is that the ones we mostly use, which is Invigorating Vapors, can only be used from these two positions, whereas these ones, Hans Rush, we use all the time. Hans Harry, we use all the time. The other ones, we hardly ever use at all. Now, it would be okay to maybe unlock some of these, but we don't need to. We could unlock Blackjack for a temporary stun. I mean, how much will that cost? That could be an option. Could unlock Blackjack. Please. Thank you. 500 plus... About 100 plus 300, 400. So, 5, 6. It's 1,000. Yeah, let's do it. Fine. It's a medium mission, so I definitely want to have enough money. But we'll now switch this off and this on. So now we've got second position preferred, which is fine. We might as well put these on. I, I am aware, by the way, that Vague has some issues, <laughs> to say the least. But we don't have a grave robber in this sort of this, this ranking, so we can't take one with us. Uh, and if you can't take it with us, you have to leave it behind. So we're just going to have to deal with the fact that Vague has got all these diseases. Uh, more melee, less move skill. We're not using move skill, so I, I like that. How many helmets can you wear? Plus two speed doesn't necessarily help. Well, scouting chance could be okay. Oh, this is where we faff around trying to figure out what to do. Well, let's do Holmesy first. We know what Holmesy's getting. Is that for... Okay, let's do this again. Character class. And Holmesy gets... Sacred Scroll... And the Tome of Healing. Yes. I'm remembering. Let me give you this back. And... I mean, you're basically a tank slash DPS character. So you can have this. What have we got for you? You can actually use your blackjack this time, so I can take this without worrying about it. We have three of these, which I will sell two of, because I don't care for them. I'll keep one, of course, but now we've got plenty of money, with which we could upgrade somebody further, but I'm not going to. I'm going to keep it for the next mission, when it might actually come in useful. Stun skill chance. Dodge, maybe. 
torch below 51 is not something we want. More dodge, more speed, less debuff resist. That could be okay in the ruins. The ruins. Uh, let's just try it. You can just take the books as usual. Less stress could be helpful. Uh, accuracy, no. Below 26, no. Again, I have yet to do a dark mission because I'm terrified of doing so. Because of what happens every time we do a dark mission, which is that the Shambler shows up and we've taken a party that's not really designed for dealing with it. Let's try and find this one. It's pretty nice. Uh, resistances maybe, something to keep this unit alive. Or healing, sure. Because it's, it's a fairly weak character. So you can imagine that being able to heal it a bit better would be good for us. We will take enough food. We can't really rely on there being too many of the medicinal herbs usables because we're going to the ruins. But there could be a couple of these which would be good to get into because we have the... Uh, we have Sejirus with us, so being able to get into locked chests and or secret rooms, click, would be great. We've got plenty of money, so I'm not too worried about actually spending all our cash. What I am worried about is filling up our inventory and not being able to take the stuff back because these things are filling up our, our inventory because we haven't found a thing yet. Um, Holy water, yes. We'll take a couple of those. Again, we could get some stuff out of Cure... <coughs> Curious. My throat appears to be stuck. Uh, we will... Uh, we've done trinkets. We've got torches. We've got enough food. We can't rely on getting more food. Let's embark. So I was talking about Ed. Uh, as you may know from a couple of weeks ago, Ed's moved out of rugby, so he doesn't do videos with me anymore. Um, but what he is going to start doing is videos of his own, which means that the... The, the proliferation of videos is going to spread out. Be consecrated. Do be quiet, Wayne. The fallen find rest. Um, it's going to be spread out a little bit. I think we'll go this way. We need to find the corrupted altars, so if we can scout in the right positions, that'd be helpful. But it means we can't skip any uh, any, any corridors or rooms, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> with these extra connections, that's actually a big problem. Uh, so Ed will soon be doing his own content, I hope. Which means that my content will be spread out that little bit more. Well, there's our inventory full up already. Hello! Which means that even though I'm thinking of reducing the amount of Darkest Dungeon that I do do, uh, um, what are you going to do? This. That will spread out even further the other content I've got. I mean, I'll still be releasing dailies when I do them, so there'll be sort of parallel content there. That's not really in the runnings, I guess. I kind of want to... What's your bleed? 40, 40, 40. I think I'm going to bleed everything. I was tempted to stun this unit so that on the next turn it didn't do us some stress damage, but we've already got away with it once. So I'm thinking when Ed starts his series, it'll still be one video a day except for the Isaac content and anything else anybody wants to upload. Uh, but it means that the series that I'm doing right now will possibly sort of spread out. They'll be a little bit thinner on the ground, basically. Uh, yes. We did hit. Didn't debuff. That's a shame. So uh, I'm looking forward to finding out what Ed does. I think he's thinking of doing a cataclysm, which is where we started um, all those years ago as it were. Uh, cataclysm, Dark Days Ahead. That should be Ed's next or first offering on his own, now that he's off in Cardiff, isn't it? What's that? 20. That's a lot. <laughs> it's more than I'm happy with. What do we do here, do you think? Maybe this? Yes. As the theme falls, a faint hope blossoms. Uh, and my stuff will... I will continue. But I'll do sort of maybe... I'll, I'll work around Ed, basically, whenever Ed decides that he wants to put stuff up. We may end up with weekend stuff. That would be cool. 
Uh, we may end up actually talking about this game while playing it, so that'll be good too. Damage versus stun is good. <clears throat> Can't hit that, that's a shame. Can knock this back too and stun it. Doesn't clear this, unfortunately, but it does it skips it a go even if you know nothing else comes of that. You're very close to death, and I'd like you to be uh, yet further. I think that's okay for now. We can stab you. Ah, perfect. You pulled me into a position where I was capable of actually dealing you some damage, which I'm okay with. Now, this unit can actually be in many positions, which is also fine. The only thing we can't do now is blackjack, but honestly, uh, I don't really care. And a crit. So that's actually a very good way of ending that particular battle. We do not, however, have any room for any of this stuff. Um, which I'm going to... Th I'm going to accept. Let's get rid of these and take the... Because I'm expecting that stack of cash to end up at 2,000. Whereas the stack of jade would only end up at 1,000, I guess. Well, good start. We did get the opportunity to increase our torch slightly in that battle, but it's of no consequence, I am sure. Some scouting would be good, if you'd like to do that. I'm starting to think that maybe the um, value of scouting is somewhat higher in these ones where you have to find these these relics. Well, that wasn't very good. <laughs> what a shame. Um, this is the thing for the quest. Very good. It'd be nice if we got a little bit of stress back for um, achieving a step on the quest goal, but that's okay. Let's go. Yeah. Well, I'd like to know what's here, but you're not going to tell me, so... Well, you are going to tell me. Curio, curio, curio. Nothing up there, so we don't have to go that way. We might as well go this way. Do we want to do that battle? I guess, why not? Yeah, sure, have some food. Uh, if we use that, we will completely refill the light. But we don't really need to, because we brought enough torches to make it work. I mean, those are things that I... Honestly, I don't know how you use them, because... They seem like a desperation play. The chance of it actually turning out to be particularly relevant at any point seems very low. Right, these are all immune to bleeding. Well, that one's not. The rest of them are, so we're not going to use the Hound's Harry, because that seems like a bad idea. But what we can do is try and blackjack this. We do have a bonus to stun that skill chance there. Oh, you're not stunned anymore. I was hoping that it would remain stunned until... The bounty hunter could have a go and punch the crap out of it, but it was not to be. Don't mind. You did the slash. You did the graveyard slash. Probably made that joke a lot. Um, I think we'll invigorate here. And Holmesy will actually get her first opportunity to heal somebody. To a huge degree? No, only 10. Doesn't make up for the crit. Uh, that we lost out on. We should probably use a torch just to just to keep morale high, I suppose. Uh, I want to mark. I don't know. Is this human? Yes. We could hit it really hard or miss. Also an option, I suppose. Now that Holmes is on healing duty, we can't use her to do the the reduction of dodge on these things, which is going to be a problem. Because these things are going to take a long time to, to sort out. Uh, I didn't actually bring the mark, and I don't have it. I kind of intentionally didn't, because having two marks in the same turn is not that great. I was very lucky that that happened. This unit not having a go is relevant to my interests, absolutely. Keep increasing this dodge chance. It could save us. I do often think that... If we keep increasing this dodge chance, but no one ever actually dodges, it's kind of... Why did we do it? Whereas... That's prop. Oh, oh brilliant. If we just use that unit to do damage, does that... If you work it out, does the amount of damage this unit can do remove enough units from the game in the battle to make it such that the dodges that we would have got if we didn't if we did this instead reduce the damage by the same amount right so if I start stabbing this especially if it gets crits like that is that as good oh 
14 on a divine grace. Comfort. You did get a go, which is very upsetting. I'm going to knock back this. See if I can stun it. I can. It just gets it. Uh, this one into range. So, anyway. My awkward way of describing it aside, my theory is that if this unit does DPS instead of the dodge buff, killing something faster will reduce the amount of things that come in and therefore reduce the amount of things we actually have to dodge in the first place. Because now we've got half as much stuff to dodge, which has increased our dodge by a permanent 50%. Right? I suspect this unit may flip out. <laughs> we can camp. That is an option. I can hit this. But now we're going to have to start attacking corpses, which is not my favourite. Oh, it might not have been a good idea. Probably should have focused on that. It's okay. It's okay. So we can get rid of some accuracy on this. That's kind of the same. Though. Kind of the same as doing some... Uh, dodge buffs on us is to reduce the accuracy on it, but that didn't work, so whatever. Yep, you can shoot that. That's fine. As long as it's spreading out the damage, I'm okay with it. Now we can do this. This reduces the prod. We get the the bonus to the damage on that. Attack, and then it dies. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> I don't know what we did to deserve that, but I'm happy that it happened. Bring it closer to death, and then death it. Splendid. So we didn't do too badly, and honestly, I think using that character as DPS is working for us. Uh, we're in the right order. You can find things even in this, which is the nice thing. The nice thing. It's a nice thing. There are many nice things. There are many bad things. Just shrug. I'm shrugging. We haven't got far. But you're very close to losing it. I think the correct thing to do is stave off going completely doolally by camping now. We're changing our tactics. Gathered close in tenuous firelight and uneasy companionship. Yes. Changing our tactics to this being a DPS character. Right. You will be last. You can reduce stress. To stress damage for four battles, which could be good. More prop, less stress. Scouting chance could be good. That takes a long time, so I'm not necessarily up for that right now. Um, <clears throat> all companions, yes, we'll definitely do that. That gets rid of some of your stress and your future stress. That costs two. We'll do one of these on that unit. That gets us basically down to half. It's more than half, really, but it's half in terms of the pips there. And then we start thinking about maybe doing something other than that and buffing ourselves rather than um, rather than reducing that stress. Because that stress is manageable, I think. Especially with this buff here. Three there means we'll have four left. Interesting. We can have two three units. Three time takers. Or a four and a two? Hmm. Now I'm not sure. Because that looks very good. It's 50% stress. <coughs> For yourself. I'm going to do that and then spend the rest of it. Because that is a lot. That's going to get us through a lot. This could be good, but I'm not that thrilled by it. But I think this is going to be super good because we're looking for stuff. And I think that's important then. And then we'll do surprise. There we go. It doesn't stop us getting the nighttime ambush. But hopefully we won't. Hopefully it doesn't count as a battle if we do. The promise of safety. It probably does. So... <clears throat> I, again, I'm playing this game. My throat is dried out. Uh, yes, hopefully that scouting... Brilliant. Good, well done. Mechanical hazards possessed that we got intent. will 
hopefully the scouting that we got will allow us to find the quest items. That was pretty nice. Uh, without having to go to rooms that are dead end. Basically is what I'm thinking there. So, there's actually a quest item right here, so that's super good. Pretty sure we can't get anything out of it, so it doesn't matter which character we use. And scouting, yes, brilliant. So if it's really nearby, that's going to be excellently good. There it is nearby, so we've actually camped at exactly the right time, because there's no battle between there and there. Uh, we'll use this on the way back. The reason for that is that our inventory is basically full. There's a gap. But we're going to use this in a minute. We can use these up if we want. We've got two of those. Uh, 90, 100. You're doing it. Well done. And some stress relief for doing so. Quest item in here. Maybe no battle? No battle. So we put this on here. Boom. We have space. Uh, we'll continue. We will walk back into this room. We'll use this unit to open that. And then we can do what we want, basically. Oh, Why? It's just, it's just not funny. You're a dick. Okie dokie. Well, I guess we just go somewhere else. There's no battle on this uh, path here. There's a room battle with treasure. I guess we do that. And if we look a bit the worse for wear at the end of it, I mean, so be it. We just go. I'm all up for getting the um, getting the loot from this place and leaving now. So as much as we can come back with, that would be excellent. You. Very good. I mean, a bit salty that this unit decided to use that thing, which I'd saved up especially from, you know, it's like... It's like opening a present on Boxing Day because you kind of know what's in it, but it might not be, and it, you know, it's big and it's going to be good, but you don't know what it actually is. So you open all your okay presents on Christmas Day, and then you save one for Boxing Day because you don't want to. You want to give it pride of place. You don't want to spend all of Christmas Day playing with, you know, all the presents that you've got, and then the this amazing present that you think you're going to want to play with a lot you don't end up playing with at all on Christmas Day. So you've opened it and you're leaving it by the wayside and you're going, you're feeling a little bit like you're betraying it to some extent. What are you talking about? <coughs> Have you never done that? Have you never had a present that you think is so cool that you save it? Because if you open it and then don't play with it, you feel bad, but if you tell it that it's special and gets pride of place by being opened on its own the next day. Whatever. Stab these things. I've decided that invigorating vapors is useless. Sometimes it may have rescued us. I will stun this one. What I'm doing here, by the way, is I'm using this unit's bonus to stun. I get stunned to uh, kill things fast rather than using the stun. Because if we use the stun to prevent it from having a go, we still have to kill it. Really keeping on top of this healing this time, which is very excellent. So now we kill this with, you know, huge amount of prejudice. Gonna have to get rid of some of these. We can't stun corpses, unfortunately. Oh, very good. So we don't even need the bloody debuff anyway. Now we do something like this. We want to lay the damage on this with the unit that can do it. And stunning this I don't think is going to be that valuable. What's your dodge? It's quite high actually. Debuff? Right, that's good. Now it's got zero, which is my favourite number when it comes to enemy stats. Unless it's like something that is beneficial to me. I don't know. Keep doing that. We'll be fine. One more round, I think. I didn't even get to play, which is fine by me. Uh, uh, it's kind of hoping. I have a sneeze, so you'll have to excuse me. <coughs> I'll tell you what. It can be very satisfying, can't it? 
if we move that, does that thing get in range? No, no, it didn't move at all. How does a corpse resist moving, huh? Ta-da! This is working out a lot better, I have to be honest. Uh, excuse me? That is not the one I'd like to... But a victory, nonetheless. Get rid of. Don't really need these. I mean, it could turn out to be that we did need those. But we can leave any time. So if we get a bleed on us, we don't need to worry about it. Packs laden with loot. What can't we have? Most of it, supplies. okay. Do I really need this many crests? I don't think so. We know there's at least one thing soon, so we don't want to get rid of those. We really want to get rid of anything else. Let's get rid of that, I suppose. Take these crests. We can always exchange them, which is why it's nice to have such a high stacking thingy. Uh, curio, curio, obstacle. Might as well go this way. It is a sack. If it has only treasure could staunch the flow Look. of other <laughs> I'm not using corruption. And then we will. Even the so shovel stone seems bent on preventing. Having all these um, scouting chances is actually turning out really well for us because the it means that we know struck. whether we need to keep hold of things like shovels. There's nothing in here and scouting, and we know if there's anything in here worth going to. There is treasure and a curio and a trap that we can definitely deal with. You can do it. Right. <laughs> Whatever. You seem to have resisted the majority of that, but thanks to your purchase. massive stress Spirits resist. Lifted, and purpose is made clear. I remembered. I remembered about the trap. Ooh. I put my, um, my stash wax on. Oh, fuck. Oh, good. I've got my stash wax on. It's sandalwood flavour. It's only because my moustache was annoying my nose, so I stuck it down with vengeance. Uh, I guess. We stab something. Probably one of these. Are these bad? They're, uh, I think I'd rather deal with the bleeding than the stuns. <laughs> but honestly, I don't really know which one to go with first. I'm going to do this and then see what sort of damage we can do without units of that. So I'm just going to keep piling on this damage here. Two to six. One to three. Wow. Holy crap. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't know what to do now. Um, you're stunned, but you're not. Like, you're, you're surprised, not stunned, so I can't. Can we stun this then? Yes. Now we have to get rid of these so we can actually hit that. But I mean, at this stage we're making sure it doesn't have a go, which is probably better. Um, not a fan of that. Death Crit does not help, but also it doesn't not help. It's not the worst thing in the world. I mean, we already get, got rid of one of them before they could have any possible chance of having a turn, so that's, that's something I'm a fan of. I, I appreciate that. We've brought way too many torches. Turns out. You never know that, do you? Shush. Right. Let's look at this cleverly. This one's going to have a go. These two are not. Everyone can hit everything except for you can't hit that with your versus stun, which is kind of annoying. Uh, bleed yes, bleed yes, bleed no. So we can bleed these two but not that one. We can stun this one to make sure it doesn't get a go. Is it a beast? Yes. Seven. We could kill it. And I think that might be worth trying. Oh, we did! That was quite a range. Four, five, six, or seven. That's a one in five chance. We managed it, so I'm very happy with that. There's a bit of a risk. And this, this unit's critting like a motherfucker. Jesus. Why have I been using Invigorating Vapors when that is capable of doing that? <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, just kill it. Can we kill it? Yeah, we can. We're doing really well against this unit, and it's entirely down to using Holmes's DPS. This is what happens when you correctly level up your units. I mean, we haven't even leveled up that. 
Oh, we have leveled it. Okay. That is the one we leveled it. Very well. So be it. Who we just stab it? 15 is a lot. Especially for that unit. Uh, we blackjack it. If we go first, it's dead. If it goes first, it's dead. There we go. So I'm happy with this. There we go. Stab it. Good. Very well done, everybody. Pat yourselves on the back. Round of applause. We'll take everything we can. And then we'll open this. I mean, I'm not too bothered about looking for a secret room at this point. Uh, okay. That was very silly. <laughs> it's not how it works. Okay. I mean, I guess we can keep going and see if we can get even more loot. I'm not too bothered about the heirlooms if we can... Uh, we can get cash instead. It's been a very successful mission, despite the way I started off saying it's not really progressing too fast. I think it is still not progressing too fast. Um, and definitely the tactic would be to start, you know, knocking people off. But do we have space in our roster right now? I think we might do. In radiance, um, may we but bind victory. I'm just going to let them die naturally. Start cycling them out that way. More money, more money, money. See what I mean? More money, more not actually money, but going to be money. And hunger. So, okay. There's a very small chance that we have to take hunger, right, starvation, as it were, damage, down here. Or there's a very small chance, there's a reasonable chance that there's nothing to do. There's a room battle with Curio. So if we get hunger on this corridor, I'm going to be mildly upset. We've still got our four battle debuffs. There's two battles left, which is nice. Honestly, I would not have expected them to have lasted this long. Stashed heirlooms. Some food, which may turn out to be useful. Not really. You can eat it. There we go. And in. Alright, last battle. Last curio. That's something that I believe a <laughs> a key would be good for, but oh well. We can start using stuff to see if they work. Bleed. No. Yes. Yes. No. Okay. Do we start attacking this? If we can. Or do we just blackjack something and... I mean, we could kill something with the blackjack play because it's got 22 HP. Maybe we take out the... Uh, it has to be this one. Which is fine. Stab it. I mean, taking out any of them whilst they're stunned, I think is always a good play. Which means I'm going to make Holmesy do even more damage if possible. 10! That's outrageous. Is that simply because I upgraded this weapon. Did I? Maybe I didn't. And then we do this. I mean, that was a guaranteed kill, I'm pretty sure. But having Holmesy do a little bit of extra damage didn't hurt. It could, you know, turn out to literally hurt in the sense that we get some damage that we can't afford to, you know, uh, keep, that we couldn't keep up with for healing, but still. Um, I think you stabbed this one. Then. I kind of want to get rid of this corpse. I think they disappear just after time. I'm not sure how many, how many time. Good, well spoken. Slightly worried about this stress level here. Should be okay. Um, we can still do most of the things we want to do. I'd like to do more damage faster. That does seem okay. Wow, okay, yeah. <laughs> Maybe I should start moving these units somewhat. <clears throat> as long as we hit it, it's dead. That's always... I don't like the if. <laughs> I like the uh, subjunctive in that particular sentence, but it is done. This unit needs to stop with all the damage that it's doing to me. I'm going to move you back. Uh, I'm going to move you back too. As well. Rather. Because we don't need to heal any damage right now. This thing seems to be fairly weak, actually. Which is something I'm a fan of. Please don't dodge these attacks, because I need you to die. Uh, you can't actually hit anything at the back. could mark this one. It's got eight. I don't think I need to. 
Let's try this. Yeah, we've got stunned and resisted the movement, which is actually ideal. Unless it goes first. I don't think it will. Might do. It might do, actually, because uh, Vague went last just now, so that's probably going to go before Vague, which is the important thing there. So we'll keep doing this. Perfect. We did take a bit more stress damage than I would have liked, um, but at this point, I really don't give a shit about the HP damage, so we will do Judgment. Lay on the DPS on this unit as much as possible. It's not marked or human, but 10 damage is still really good against the unit with so much protection. Uh, I think we get to go first and kill it. So I think we want to use a key here, but we don't have one anymore. It is slightly ajar. It could be trapped. Nope. Nope. Open it. Ah. Thanatophobia. Well, that is it. There's two corridors and one room with nothing in it. Let's go. Unfortunately, we used the key in the wrong place. That was fairly a uh, noobish mistake. We get a new Plague Doctor thingy that we haven't seen before. More Blight skill. Less HP. It could be useful for certain dungeons, e.g. the Cove. Let's not watch that. That doesn't seem interesting at all. You're level 4, you're level 3. Now we have no one at the bottom again. Mercurial is kind of okay. Automatonophobia, I think, is the reason that we opened that thing when I didn't want us to. Uh, and that's a pretty good virtue, so... Cool stuff. We should have plenty of cash. Can you hear... Uh, it's probably Brian. I'll sort him out in a minute. Silence in the crypts. Reports from hill cottages confirm a welcome reduction in the general air of malaise and around your rooms. Party gains more resolve XP and ruins and more damage and ruins. So, <laughs> I guess we wouldn't need to do that mission that we just did now, but okay. 22,000 again. We can start upgrading a few people very slowly. But uh, I'll probably do that either at the start of the next episode or in between. It doesn't seem that interesting. But uh, thank you for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, don't forget to do all the cool stuff that I appreciate. I'm telling everybody else that you liked it. Uh, maybe leave a like on the video and a comment down below if you have any feedback. I'm pointing down that you can't see me. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.